Hey y'all, welcome back to City Skylines as we get nearly taken out by our wind turbines. Here we go. Uh, this is Hobbiton Hill. Love this little place. Just makes me think of um, Hobbits. There you go. That's kind of cool. Overlooking my very first ever uh, kind of um, trumpet interchange I ever built. Handmade, of course. And my very weird kind of design for a power station or power plant. There you go. Are these supposed to be, um, what I remember, these were supposed to be solar panels. And these are relay stations, that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> yeah, lots of imagination went into that. Let me put it that way. <laughs> so, yeah, let's uh, do a little check on what we got done last time. So, here we are. All this got done uh, last time around. You can see here, lots of building. I completely went to town on my building. There you go. Everything is absolutely beautifully detailed, I guess. If you can call just adding trees detailing. But there you go. So, let's have a quick zoom in and see what we got done. Now, this is a good start. Uh, this uh, neighborhood, all these blocks here, these cul-de-sacs. Uh, as I've mentioned before, this is all based on uh, Seattle, Washington and surrounding kind of neighborhoods and towns and districts, that kind of thing. If you go in Google Maps, you'll find this exact layout in some of the um, neighborhoods of um, Washington State. There you go. It looks exactly like that. Kind of weird. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so, yeah, what we got done, we... As you can see, I filled in a lot of, um, uh, here we go, suburbia, all this is suburbia, all this here. And my house on the hills, which we'll come to momentarily. So my main idea behind the build was to build a kind of um, sports suburbia, uh, a suburbia full of sporting activities for the whole city. And as you can see, this is my country club, kind of tennis club, that kind of thing. There you go. Looks kind of like that. It's kind of, kind of unique and kind of cool. Got to imagine this child care center is a kind of tennis club. More pretend parking lots. Kind of shopping areas to lead up into the um, country club. Like I said, this is all suburbia. Filled in a high school somewhere and a university, which is back here. There we go. <laughs> so put all that in there to help the education, to help with people getting jobs. This is the basketball arena, which is kind of cool. Love those kind of bowl effects we got going on here. Uh, what do we got here? This is my... I was I was thinking this was like a football stadium, but I think it's a sports stadium. But they kind of play soccer here. Yeah, so yeah, they play soccer here. But yeah, maybe this is kind of an Olympic stadium. So this is kind of my Olympic park, I guess. Looks kind of like that. With its own unique kind of parking lots. It's lead up the actual stadium and it's kind of unique I don't know what you call this promenade park I don't know that kind of thing they, they can have their target parties and buy lots of things that kind of thing so yeah, there we go I stuck in this um train station I guess to help with the um transportation put in a little bit of a commercial and office buildings that kind of thing uh, they got one link so far to a station and a subway station over this side somewhere around here so there you go, and this is my kind of houses on the hills neighborhood. Doesn't look amazing. <laughs> Can you imagine what it'd be like to live in this house here and getting to look over this every day? What a beautiful view. Wishing you could have a better view of like looking over the beach every day. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, go. That's uh, my whole build for last time around. So let's move on. Right, so today, uh, let's have a little talk about what's going to happen today. Um, well, let's, uh, first things first. And as you can see, uh, the countdown clock has now been replaced with this QR code, uh, which I kind of find sad. I was kind of um, enjoying the countdown to my birthday and the release of um, Skylines 2. So there you go. So that that's now um, a QR code. And if you uh, scan into that, it'll take you straight to the Paradox website where you can... Um, do a whole bunch of things like um, actually buy the game <laughs> or you can actually um, sign into your account and get the um, castle unique building kind of thing which I've I've got so there you go so that's all that let's get back to where I was and here we are back here so yeah I'm gonna fill in these streets which I've got to put in so let's do that so yeah uh, City Skylines 2 I will definitely be playing that um, I've had the chance to play it for ages but I've just just too busy just too busy and so you got enough uh, awesome creators out there right now doing lots of little 
Skylines 2 videos and tips and tutorials, which kind of eases up the pressure on me because I used to be kind of famous for doing tips and tutorials. Not on this, not on this side or under this name, but used to be, yeah, kind of famous for that and used to take a lot of my time. But now I am too super busy to do things like that. And I kind of really appreciate having all these people doing all the work for me. <laughs> kind of a lazy way of not having to do tips because you got people doing it for you that kind of thing so that's my kind of mythology behind that <laughs> so there you go so yeah I, but i will be definitely playing it uh, very soon as soon as this city's uh completed which is going to be like maybe two two episodes kind of something like that so yeah what i will be doing i'll be doing something a little unique little unique so what i would say is um hang 10 on that and you will not be disappointed Unless you're disappointed with someone that like me that plays this game. <laughs> Which is um, kind of understandable. So there you go. So I will be doing that. So uh, yeah, that's okay. That's detailed. Yep, kind of happy with that. So yeah, I will be doing City Skylines 2. Maybe in a couple of weeks time. Something like that. Or a couple of episodes time. So keep your eyes open for that. It will be very unique. <laughs> very unique indeed. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with what I'm going to do. So today, what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to... You look over yonder. Beyond this... Kind of little um kind of train station you got this kind of mini mountain or tiny hill that kind of thing so i'm gonna build on that now this was my last fancy design build but this might be my fa last fancy design build <laughs> so i'm thinking about that and we're also going to do it build something over here so there you go we got a whole bunch of um water ugliness going on here we've got one two three four five of them and two of them which are these wastewater outlets, I guess. Wastewater drain pipe and water treatment plant. So yeah, I'm going to try and tidy this up and make it a little um, better looking, I guess. So that's what we're going to do right now, I guess. Right, so I'm going to pause the game and we're going to try and work out something for all these. So let me look at my water situation. Ooh, we need to get more sewage. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so maybe I can replace these two with a another one of these. Maybe that kind of thing. Yeah, that's very interesting. So yeah, let's work on that. So, hmm, what can I do? I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little bit of moving. Right there we go. That's all moved. Uh, I'm gonna cut off all this power. Let's delete all this while I can. There we go. Uh, somebody remind me at the end end of this episode to connect it all back up. <laughs> so there we go. We're gonna kind of flatten out this terrain or smooth it. Let me try flattening it out first of all. Let's go for, I don't know, um, let's go big, let's go big on it, maybe uh, about here, uh, how big is this? Yes, keep the same line as that one, I believe, there, yes, try that. There you go. Uh, that is all lovingly smoothed. I wish I could get over there and play around with this, but I can't. Um, maybe I'll uh, smooth this out properly. we we'll do it that way. Just make it look kind of like realistic. <laughs> there you go. That was an attempt to make it look more natural. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what we can do now. Um, kind of like this looking kind of naturally bumpy and lumpy. But I don't know. I'm thinking... Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we can do something with um, putting in a key wall along here. That's what I'm thinking. I want to have these uh, kind of wastewater outlets kind of um, as close to here as possible, I think. So, yeah, let's I'll see what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of make this kind of a straight line. There you go, by giving it a jaggedy appearance. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if I can put a key wall in here. Let's go for a key wall, normal one. That fit in. That kind of fits in, doesn't it? Yeah, that fits in. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> so let's uh, shape the land a little more to show a bit of more of that key wall. There you go, that works. Now, I do know this is going to cause a lot of flooding over here. The building is on fire. Okay. Oh, that they, they got it on control. Never mind. <laughs> so yeah, let's work on this. And so we got this. 
Now I do know that I'll let's pause the game again because I got no power, I remembered. Uh, what I do know is um this is gonna cause a lot of flooding over here when I move around the land. But here I guess I'm gonna have to deal with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw in a little inlet here to allow the water in, that kind of thing. So let's do that. So there you go. I've gone as deep as I can. I've got this kind of um, shape right now. So that's kind of interesting. So there we go. So uh, yeah, let's do a little bit of shifting around. Now definitely want to put um, definitely want to put the key walls on this side as well. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move these again, temporarily, yet again. <laughs> definitely want to get the water back on while I'm um, trying to fill in this with water, that kind of thing. So yeah, let's work on that. Our power is back on, I believe. Uh, hook this into here. There you go. That should work. Uh, let's put these pipes back in. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go back to our key walls, which are right here. There we go. That's perfect. I'm going to try and um, put a key wall all around this kind of area here. And uh, yeah, let's press play and watch the process. You go kind of happy with that that's kind of cool that's kind of working <laughs> yeah we're, we're, we're stick with that working there we go so yeah that's it that's a kind of interesting way of um designing kind of rapids and lumps and bumps and rivers by um smoothing the terrain and heightening up some of the um river that kind of thing so i've done it kind of um this deep for a reason is if i can put in a lot of these um uh water waste or outlets or they, it won't be um flooded with too much water coming out of here which might cause flooding down here, that kind of thing. So that's my reasoning behind that. Now let's see if I can get all this smooth again. There we go, that kind of works. I'm okay with that. Apart from that little piece here. There we go, absolutely fine. Yep, I guess we're stuck with that. <laughs> okay, let's press pause again. So let's do a little bit of moving again. I'm going to see if I can squeeze these in here. I don't know if this will work. Tell you what, let me uh, delete um, the pipes. Hopefully I won't delete the key walls. Oh, there we go. That's them deleted. Now let's see if we can move these. Yeah, we can. That's perfect. I didn't realize that would work. <laughs> Just about there. That works there. So that's kind of cool. So at least I know I can fit them there. Now let me see if I can fit them along here. Height is too high. That's not too high. Yeah, that kind of fits in. That's kind of cool. And try and fit this one in here. Is this too high? Okay, interesting. All I need to do is I'm raise up the land. I can do that. That is not a problem. There you go. That's the land hardened up. So hopefully they should all fit in nice and easy. So let's do that one. That one can go there. And what I can do is I can drop the um, land hard later on. Let's move this one in kind of here so I can put in free here. Move this one here. Kind of works, so I got room for one more there, and maybe I can put a bunch there. Can I move that closer to here? That's a question. I can. So that works. That's kind of cool. We got these two mini ones. We might as well put these back just for now. Can I fit that over there? I can. That's kind of cool. That kind of works. There we go. So let's all uh, hook all these up. Like there to there and to there. There you go. So that's kind of neat looking. 
yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. And what this will do is it'll kind of um meet the demand from for more water treatment plants, I guess. These are yeah, so yeah, go uh, water availability. I'm okay for that. Sewage treatment. So yeah, it's, it's kind of getting kind of near the edge there. So I can put in another one. So let's do that right now. Here we go. Squeeze it in right there. There we go. Perfect. Let's hook up the pipe. And there we go. So we got all that running and that should light up. Hopefully. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's give them some power. There you go. And there you go. Water treat sewage treatment here is now absolutely fine. And there's the flooding that I expected. But that'll um, subside later on. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of cool. A little bit of flooding here, but that's fine. That's fine. How's my coastline looking? Oh, look at that. It's taking away a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, tell you what, let's uh, let's work on that. There you go. A little bit of smoothing that can help the water flow properly. So that's kind of cool. And this is going to be pumping out extra water, which is going to fill all this up. So yeah, I'm kind of happy with that for now. Let's have a look on here. Kind of looks like that. Yeah, that's working. And I kind of like this kind of rapid kind of feel we've got here. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that is very cool. Uh, what it's done is um, uh, originally the water was coming out here and it was coming all the way down here, all the wastewater. But now because I've put this kind of slope down here, which in me needs a lot of detailing to make it look more kind of realistic, especially on this side here again. There you go. What it's done is now forcing all the water just to go this way instead of coming out here. With um, increasing the uh, whip here, that's kind of cool. So all the wastewater will now be going all the way down here instead of coming out all the way up here, like it was before, as you can see here. So you go. So I've kind of solved that kind of wastewater, kind of um, ugly, kind of brown tone to it. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. So there you go. So that's my kind of um, sewage plant system for now. Okay, so we got all that. So let's give them a kind of um, sewage treatment plant kind of. Um, Headquarters, that kind of thing. Maybe a link in a road somehow. So this is going to be tricky. I don't know how or where I'm going to put a road. Um, let's have a look around here. Mm, this might work. We could try this road. Now, uh, as long as you don't um, mind what it looks like underground, because you won't see it. Hopefully I can get it to twist in around here somewhere. So let's try that. Um, pause the game again. We're going to do a little bit of... Um, shall I delete the road? I don't know. Yeah, let's delete that little piece here and that piece of path here. Let's see if we can go underground. So what is it? It's one with trees. It doesn't matter about the trees. Let's go for the... Um, doesn't matter. This one, I guess. <laughs> right, let's go underground. I guess all my snapping points are off. They are. Okay, let's leave it like that. Actually, let's go straight first of all. There we go, perfect. <laughs> now we got a link in here. Now how's that gonna affect my house? Is it gonna run again? Oh, that house doesn't oh there we go, it's gonna disappear. I thought it would. Never mind. Hopefully I can put a house here. Let me try that. There you go, two perfect little buildings. <laughs> so that solves that problem of them them being removed. <laughs> there you go, eminent domain. But okay, so now we got this set up. Now we can do a kind of little office complex i guess let's go back on these roads here we're gonna go for hmm are the trees f affected by the water treatment i don't know let's go for this one anyway put all my snapping points back on we put a road system in here There you go, so we got this right now. So let's make it more attractive for the workers. Uh, let's put a little plaza in here. It's kind of small. I don't know, maybe here? Maybe here. There we go, that'll work. Uh, let's uh, extend this road a little bit more further to make it kind of even both sides. Move these back on, there we go. Like that, this one's a grass one. Put that there, then we're gonna put a normal road. One, two, three, four, about there. There we go, delete these. There you go, that's even both sides. And then we're going to fill that up with um, office space, hopefully. So I'm going to go for maybe a... Let's try that one, see what kicks in. 
Yeah, that's okay. Uh, if we get a similar building popping in here, oh, here we go. Similar building popping in here, I was going to say, well, then we'll um, make that historical as well. It's a little bit sim. It is the same, but it's a different color and it's facing the other way. <laughs> oh, what a shame. What a shame. Okay, we'll, we'll keep them. We'll keep them. There we go. That's kind of cool. Uh, can I put something in here? I don't know. Maybe I can. Let's, let's do it. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete this one here. We're going to leave this blank. And then I can put a little bit of detailing on here. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, there we go. So we got that little setup here. All right, let's give them a kind of my Patan parking lots. There you go. That's all hooked in. Uh, what I might do is um, I might give them their own kind of little kind of police or fire kind of um little center. So I might do that. So yeah, why not? We, let's do that. We carry on with this same mode here. So yeah, let's um, put in all these little buildings while we can. Or put in looking for the smallest versions. Here we go. Uh, that is my services complex. Uh, it's not that realistic, but it will kind of work. It will uh, help with um, any issues that come along here. Uh, let's don't need this road anymore. There we go. So yeah, we're going to leave it like that for now. I don't think we need anything more. I could put in maybe some more industry. I don't know, because I'll just encourage um, trucks going backwards and forwards from here. And I don't want to do that. So yeah, I'm kind of okay with that. Maybe I could put in like a mini kind of little neighborhood down here or something like that but i'm kind of wanting to leave this kind of rural for now yeah i'm kind of happy with that so there you go a couple of stars should help with the on um, power jumping i kind of like these ones because they kind of look like they're not restaurants they look like they could have belonged here this one's got a restaurant kind of vibes so i'm gonna delete that and look for something similar to the kind of this there you go so that's all uh, that complex um completed i think yeah i'm absolutely fine with that all i gotta do now is um Probably detail that. I don't think there's anything else I need to put on there. Alrighty, uh, let's go on to the uh, last part of my build, which is going to be uh, well, this hill here. So this is going to be kind of interesting. So yeah, I want to do uh, almost my final kind of a fancy, unique, like we got here, kind of build. I want to do it on this hill and I want to do it with, let's come into these uniques. And we're going to try and put one of these on here which is let me find somewhere i can put it down just to show you what it looks like there we go there we go the observatory so i think that's kind of fitting to put it up here the kind of thing so yeah we're gonna go with that and also i just noticed uh this one here what is this this is the old opera house okay let's put you in there just for a little while just have a look at you kind of got that kind of spherical space age vibe maybe i can incorporate that somehow as part of the build yeah that kind of seems to complement each other so yeah i'm definitely going to kind of work out a way of putting this up here so let's have a work on that um so first things first is the game paused or it, it doesn't matter actually what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a road here now what this is gonna do this is gonna protect the land from smoothing and shaping so that's my idea behind that. So it'll take up all the snapping points, make it on free form. There you go. So that allow me to um, shape the land around here without um, destroying anything around here because uh, these roads will stop the land. Shaping that. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, let's go for something. Um, yeah, the, where this tree is. Yeah, let's uh, do a little bit of land smoothing. So let's do that. Yeah, that kind of works. So uh, now let me see. Uh, put a little road in here for now. Put my practice road in. This one here. Just so I can see what it looks like. Let's put it kind of... Should I put it facing here? Yeah, let's do that. The ghost, we got that. That looks kind of cool. Uh, I'm up. Bring it a little bit further forward so I could do a little bit of detailing behind there. Yeah, let's try that. Um, let's go back to the practice roll. Let's put it kind of maybe a little bit further forward. There, I guess, maybe. <laughs> now, what's the sand over there? That is the... Oh, this is going to be interesting. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. Um, I don't think I can get the center of this. One, two, three, four, five. So, I want to roll... I uh, won't snap in. I got an idea. Let's take off all my snapping points. We draw a little road here. About there, that's fine. And delete 
this and this and this and that we go so what i'm going to do i'm going to try and do a little kind of um half a traffic circle that kind of thing and i want it based on the kind of the center here which is why i've drawn that road just about there put all my snapping points on here we go so let's kind of draw, come up with a kind of a almost kind of traffic circle a semi circle that kind of thing There we go, so we got that. So uh, my intention here is to put a key wall down here. So yeah, what I'm gonna do with all my kind of key wall building, um, I'll just time lapse them because um, yeah, they take ages sometimes. So yeah, we'll do that. But so what I want to do is I want to prepare the rest of the land. Um, so it's gonna yeah, let's go a little bit higher, and a bit higher like that, and then we're gonna kind of level that out like that. You can see the importance of having this road here. See, it stops the um most of the terrain shifting, so that's kind of cool. We're gonna put that here. There you go. That's my initial kind of um kind of mountain barriers to stop the water flooding all the way down hill. There you go. So that's my kind of protective barrier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the key wall, and I'll meet you at the end of the time lapse. There you go. Uh, that took uh, absolutely no time at all. I'm kind of um, pleased with that. So that's kind of cool. But what I can do now is um, what I'll do, I'll delete this road here. I was only there to help the, with um, the um, setting up the key wall. We can delete that. So there you go. That's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is um, we're going to turn this off. We go. Turn that off. There we go. And then we can move this and use that later on. So let's put that right there. And then what I'm going to do is then we're going to pump out the water again. And you can see this is wastewater, so you don't want to connect this to the city. Just in case for those who are watching this for the first time. So I kind of like that. That kind of works. And we will leave that running. And get rid of all that water. There you can see. And it's got no power, but it's still kind of working. There you go. Uh, that took no time at all. So yet what we can do is uh, we can then uh, move that. Move that over here. So there you go. That's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flatten out this land to about this level here I guess so let's do that there we go that's perfect reason behind that is I now want to kind of um slope a rail road down from here into this kind of area here that kind of thing so that's my idea behind that so let's manipulate the land a little bit further right there we go so what I want to do is uh, I want a road going down here and then around here that's my intention so let's go for the sloping tool so we're going to slope it to kind of here so I'll tell you what let me Put a little more land in here just for now like that that's fine i'm gonna right click there i'm gonna left click about here and there you go i'm kind of happy with that looks pretty cool so what we're gonna do we're gonna put this practice road in i'm gonna see if we can get it to um, go around here now i've left the just the road guidelines on to help snap in with this kind of center point here. actually let's start from the center this is why i want the guidelines so i can kind of loop it around in a Kind of um controlled fashion match the shape of this key wall here there you go and that kind of works we'll do the same kind of around here just i'm gonna bring that out a little bit further this time just for now there we go so that's kind of cool we got that so we needs power water and all that yeah i thought so <laughs> so let's uh, see let's give them some power we go along to our Kind of wind turbine farm down there. And let's give them the water. There you go, there's the water. Perfect, right now we can see the um, road. Now let's see if we can connect that road in. Practice road, let's see how close can I get. Let's take off all my snapping points this time. There you go, that works really fine. What I'm going to do now is... Um, hmm, <laughs> I might turn this into a kind of an ornate kind of design. So, yeah, let's go for another kind of little semi-circle kind of shape around here, I think. That's my idea. 
Right, there we go. They've got that nicely smoothed out. So I'm going to go back on my road. So back on my practice. There we go. Practice road. All right. So yeah, I kind of wanted this angle. So I'm going to. I'm thinking uh, 240 each way. It's like a reasonable number. 200, 220, 240. Maybe facing this direction now. So look, that kind of. Will that work? Yeah, maybe that'll work. We'll go over there for now and we'll go 240 this way. About there and 240 this way here. There we go. So let's uh, try and link in these roads again. So let's go on here. Yeah, that kind of works. So let's carry this on here. About there, I think. There we go. That's perfect. We got that design now. So that's kind of... That might work. <laughs> we'll see what we can do with that. So yeah, I'm going to try and fit another key wall in around here. That kind of thing. So let's do what we did before. So what I'll do is uh, I'll time lapse this again. there you go everybody uh that kind of worked out um easier than i thought um i could retweak this but i'm kind of okay with the shape of that so there you go uh so let's move these around again now i could uh, put the um opera house here i think but i think it's because of the heart of the opera house i think it would just kind of destroy the skyline and take away the impact of the observatory so i'm gonna have the opera house Kind of similar kind of thing here, but I'm going to have it facing down here, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's my idea. So I'm going to do another one of these and over here, that kind of thing. All right, there we go. Uh, that's enough space, I think. So what I want to do is I want to find a, a decent angle to have this um, upper house facing. So put in a practice road for now. Uh, put it on straight. That'll help out a lot. So just put it just there for now. And let's go and get our, pick up that um, upper house and place that where it's supposed to be. There you go. That kind of fits in there. And you can see the height of that. It's uh, pretty much taller than that. And if you have it up here, it's going to really impact on the skyline. So we got that. So which direction do I want this space in? Maybe over here. Let's have a look. Kind of like the idea of having it a little bit straighter facing this way, actually. So little adjustment is all we need. Yep, I think we'll go with that. Yeah, I'm kind of happy. There we go. That's kind of cool. So yeah, let's do another one of those kind of um, semi-circles. There you go. So we're going to have our key wall down here. So you go. That kind of works really well. Uh, with this, what we can do now, we can slope this road down here. So let's delete this and do some more sloping. We're going to take away this road here. We're going to slope it up. There you go. That kind of works. So let's turn this train out again like that. There we go. Perfect. They go absolutely happy with that. We can carry on this road here. Now this road here, I mean, there we go. Take all them off again. There we go. That kind of works. So I'm kind of happy with that. That's really cool. Really cool, actually. <laughs> there you go. So that worked out really well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my same um, kind of um, key wall technique over here. You can delete this road here and this. Get rid of all these trees. There we go, folks. I'm absolutely happy with that. Uh, let's uh, delete all these. Don't need this anymore. There we go. And this. Get rid of that. Anymore. I think that's about it. Oh, there it is. That one up there. Okay. That kind of works. So, yeah, we got the road set up. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, what I want to do is um, 
kind of hook this road into uh, this churchyard road here. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So a bit more land manipulation and smoothing and all that. So that should work out just fine. Let's go into the smoothing tool like that. That on max, I think it is. So that's kind of cool. That should work. There you go. Kind of happy with that. That's kind of cool. So yeah, let's try and find a way of um, hooking this road up into here. So yeah, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to slope the terrain. So let's go back onto that practice road again. So this is going to go into this road here. So yeah, I kind of want the road to come around here. And it's going to come out here just like that. And then we're going to slope this road into this one here. A little bit like this. Like that. There we go. Get rid of these. Don't need these. Or do I? I don't know. Let's put that back in for a while. I'm just thinking, can I put a park around here or something? Yep, we could fit in a little bit of flat terrain and parks and things like that. So yeah, we're going to leave that like that for now. So yeah, uh, let's carry on with this. So we want to level out this train here, just there, like that. And then we want to slope it down. So about, um, so this train here, then I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to do a little kind of, um, about here, I'm going to do a little circle. Like that. And then we're going to slope that terrain. Right click there, left click all the way here. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing from here. We're going to right click here and then we're going to left click all the way from here. There you go. So you got a perfect slope. <laughs> so let's uh, do, I'm going to delete the trees while I can. We'll place them back in later. And then we just put the vote back in. Alright, so there you go. You got this. Oh, and we got our vehicles coming up and down here already. <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of working really well. There we go. Really cool. So yeah, what I want to do now is I'm going to put another little path network here. This is on um, Harpet Hill Part 2. Uh, there we go. And what we can do is we can pretend these are not just paths. These are kind of like, I don't know, kind of um, little kind of um tricks for like vehicles to go up and down. To do the maintenance of these little areas here. That kind of thing. Right, now let's see if we can um, hook in some power and water, that kind of thing. So uh, let's move this here. Hmm. Do I like that there or do I like that in the center? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe having two of these and maybe putting some stores in the middle there, that kind of thing. Maybe a restaurant. I don't know. I'm thinking about that. It's kind of interesting. Well, those roads really got a lot of um, activity on them. Look at that. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> So what I'm thinking is maybe I can um, put another park in here. So yeah, let's go for that. So let's see what I can come up with. Um, put a bracing road here just for now in case I change my mind. There we go. Delete that. Do I want to delete that? I think I do. Yep, let's delete that. Okay, now let's see what kind of park we can put up here. I'm thinking maybe the kind of one with all the trees on it. Which one is? Oh, this one here. There we go. Maybe I can put that in there. I kind of think. So that kind of works. And yeah, these Japanese gardens have got this kind of good vibe about them. Maybe I can put them in. Not sure why that wants to jump in there. That's kind of weird. About there, maybe. Let's have a look. Two, 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 two. Yeah, that's perfect. There you go. That's uh, symmetrical. Uh, so I'm thinking, okay, do I need this road anymore? I don't know. Let's go for, I don't know. Let's go for maybe 160, I think the road is. 140, once, there we go, 160. There we go, that works, that works perfectly. There we go, so what I want to do, I want to turn this to be facing us. There we go, like that, that's better. And then I can do the same with these. Let's move you just about there, that's fine. Let's delete this road and put that back in. There we go. Kind of happy with that. That's kind of cool. So we got that kind of little park here. So what I'll do, I'm going to hook in the power to that. So let's do that right now. 
There we go, that kind of works. All the power's now connected. I've gone with these two little stars here. They kind of seem to fit in okay with this kind of design. So I'm kind of cool with that. Man, that is really busy. Look at that. That's kind of cool. So I'm thinking, shall I change these roads around? I don't know. I definitely want to leave this one as a kind of a dirt kind of gravel path, that kind of thing. Kind of got that kind of vibe. Uh, I'm going to fit in some parking lots. That's the other thing. I don't know if I can. Um, try on maybe one. Um, maybe here. Like that. Maybe that'll work. Let's try um, my usual technique. Yeah, that kind of works, kind of works. I've realized that the um, front looks exactly the same as the back, so I don't really need this road on the other side. This is kind of cool. So yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. And then we can have a kind of a on it kind of park, park at the back there. So yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. So let's change that road over. There we go. So yeah, let's kind of do a similar kind of thing here. Put in our Batan mini parking lots. So yep, there we go. I'm kind of happy with that. What I'm going to do, I'm definitely going to convert this road into a normal road, that kind of thing. So let's do that. Um... Yeah, let's go for this one here. There you go, that kind of works. Now let me uh, get rid of any stoplights. Okay, I think we're lucky. I think we got away with it. No stoplights anyway. Yeah, I'm absolutely happy with that. Look at that. That's absolutely fine. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that is cool. I can't believe I did that. Wow. Oh. Right, so there you go, folks. I am more than happy with that. We got our Hobbit Hill Part 2 there. We got this um, twisty, tyranny mountain kind of road, which is absolutely buzzing with um, people who wanted to go to my newly um, placed opera house. A couple of stores have been placed here, a couple of plazas, that kind of thing. Uh, carry on this uh, kind of a gravel road, I guess, up to here to visit some ornate gardens. And then they can carry on even further up here to go to... Uh, the observatory so that's kind of cool so yeah absolutely pleased with that so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to finish the episode doing detailing which is detailing all this and detailing my newly created water treatment plant so there you go so i'll see you at the end of all this time lapsing
Well, there you go, everybody. Uh, we are just about done. Um, let's do a little uh, recap. Uh, made this huge water plant, water treatment plant. Look how huge these are. <laughs> I did this deliberately to stop any water overflowing, but it looks kind of okay. Did a lot of detailing. So there you go. Looks like that. It's pretty cool. Lots of trees everywhere. Put in this little complex here to help out with the um, water plant. A couple of stores and all the um, service buildings like that to make sure they get... Um, all the help they need when they need it. Mini parking lots as usual. Heavily detailed with trees and rocks as you can see here. I uh, created a nature walk here. There you go. There you go. Uh, if I had like, uh, is it Parks DLC where you got all the nature parks and all that? I could put all that in here. But I'm not using any DLC so we're gonna have to... That's what it looks like from above. We're gonna have to um, put up with what we got here. So there you go. Uh, last on my list was... Here we go. Oh, okay. What's this up here? Uh, this is Hobbit Hill Part 2. There you go. All the little hobbits are living underground, operating the wind turbines. So there you go. Lots of little paths, a couple of shrubs, that kind of thing. You don't want too much in these kind of areas. So it looks like that. Or here's a pathway that goes down here into the main road. Come up here. And here you go. You come across the opera house. There you go. Now I put this here because it kind of fits in with my observatory, which we got up here. There you go. I put a couple of um, restaurants and plazas here. Uh, came up with this beautiful little design of a garden here. Looks like that from above. Always makes me think of the Los Angeles Rams. So there you go. <laughs> the views from here are absolutely amazing. You imagine living here and getting to come up here and sit down and look out of here. Absolutely beautiful. So there you go, uh, that's all that, so pretty pleased with that. Uh, moving on up this kind of track, I've turned this into the gravel road now. Put in this kind of um, stone wall to help with the drivers so they don't crash it down the hill. There you go, and now this is a kind of an ornate uh, park design. So this is the next level, as you can see from here. Turn this into an ornate park, there you go. Looks like that. Yet again, more beautiful views. There you go, and last but not least, you can come up, come out of here, up this street here. More stone walls to protect the um, travelers. Comes up here, winds around here. And there you go, you got your observatory, which is pretty cool. There you go, looks like that. And I put in this kind of weird design here. It's like a sundial with a clock. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that kind of thing. So yeah, absolutely perfect. <laughs> kind of a weird design, but yeah, there you go. I thought it just ties in well. And there you go. That is my build. And obviously I did my um, key wall trick where you um, kind of um, flood the land and you can build the key walls inland, that kind of thing. It was kind of tricky trying to work out how I wanted to do it, but it kind of looks like that from above. There you go. That's not completely a circle, is it? But never mind. You don't notice it from down here. There you go, everybody. So, yeah, I hope you liked that one. <laughs> a little bit quicker episode than the last time, but there you go. So, yeah, I'll leave you guys with all this. Um, so, sincerely, look after each other. Have a really nice day. And I will see y'all. Thank you.